Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to go over how to set up your workspace so that you can start making Pixelmon side mods and plugins. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is set up your workspace so that you can use both Sponge and Forge. I've already created a video on how to do that. As you can see here, I have the project all set up. You can check out that video in the link in the description down below. After that, what you want to do is go ahead onto the Pixelmon site and download the Pixelmon mod. I'll be using Pixelmon Generation since that's the mod I'm using for my server to create custom plugins. Once you have it downloaded, go ahead into your project, right click your project name, go to new, and then click on a new directory. So we're going to be creating a new directory titled libs. So what this is going to do is give the project a folder to access. Next, we're going to drag and drop the Pixelmon mod into the folder. So right here, click OK, and there you go. So now it's getting files index, and then it will import all of the files that we need. So once it's done importing everything here, we're ready to start making Pixelmon side mods and plugins. So I'll get to that once it's ready. Okay, cool, now it's done. So. To make sure that it works, you can go in here to the game started server event, start typing Pixelmon, and then dot, and there you go. Now we have all of these to access from. Awesome. So in the next tutorial, we're going to go over how to create our first event listener to watch for an event and then create something that happens from there. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and then comment down below if you have any questions that you have regarding anything and I'll do my best to answer that and uh, yeah so until then I'll see you next time peace